All right, third practice. Uh, first of all, it's a great day to be a Razorback. Um, anytime you get out on that football field with our players and, and get better, that's what it's all about. And, uh, for our third practice in, another great energy day. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of fundamentals being taught. Um, a, lot of, a lot of teaching going on by, by not just the coaches, but, but even the older players out there teaching. It's really good to see. Um, not a lot of install. Um, we've been pretty simple with our install right now, and that's by design. It's about going back to the fundamentals and getting better. Uh, it's good to see some of, some of these guys really stepping up and, and, um, and, and, and really standing out. Uh, update on a few players. Uh, Scooter Harris will be out the remainder of spring. Uh, he'll have uh, surgery on his foot. Um, then that will occur Friday, I believe, but uh, we'll expect him back by, uh, by sometime in May. So uh, he'll be definitely involved in and uh, being a student student coach out there, a player coach, I should say. Uh, guys that have really stood out in three days, uh, that's really caught our attention. Just some of the, the, the newer guys that just joined us. Trey Knox has been uh, as consistent um, and, and is really making an impact uh, when he steps on the field. I've been very pleased to watch him and the, the growth of the offense and him catching on. Uh, it's been good to see Eric Gregory uh, has been impressive since he's gotten here. And um, that has not changed, uh, even though we were in pads today. Sometimes you have a tendency to fall back a little bit. Um, but, uh, but it was good to see those guys on the energy level. Greg Brooks is another one that's been very impressive. Devin Bush, uh, Myron Cunningham uh, in the offensive line. Uh, it's good to have some offensive line depth. Uh, coming into this spring is something we have to have, and we've got to create competition. Um, and uh, again, I'm excited about about the uh, direction of these young guys. And uh, again, some things that we've seen that, that guys that are just continue to push and get better out there. Obviously, we know Sosa has, has been uh, very much a leader, uh, and we're going to continue to push him and to be the leader on that uh, on the defensive side of the ball as well as for our football team. Um, watching his energy level and his effort level has been been impressive uh, for three days, and again, challenging him as he moves inside and, and stays in that inside position. Uh, so that's good to see. Bumper Pool uh, was very active today. Saw him make quite a few plays. Uh, so that was good to see. Um, you know, uh, Devall Whaley is is another one running back. That's uh, he and Chase Hayden, as we would expect in year two, uh, to really step up. And, and again, for three days, uh, first day in pads, it was good to see that. We we did a little bit of hitting out there today, uh, which is was by design and, and some scripted some periods. Um, but uh, as the week goes, we'll definitely ramp that up. So with that, I'll open up for questions. his injury and how it happened? Um, you know what? I think it's been something that's been uh, nagging. Before. It was a season, during the season. And um, and so we thought we kind of had it. We rehabbed it and thought we had it. And and it just it just never really kind of – it just kept bothering him, so we just had it looked at. And so it just – it's it's we, we don't want this to carry on. That's kind of where we're at with him. We know he's what he's capable of doing. And, um, you know, he's he's going to be just fine. Coach, is that a soft tissue deal with him? And also, no, no he'll actually go in, and uh, it's uh, and I don't know the exact words, but he's going to have a screw put in, uh, okay. just a small screw, just got a real slight fracture in there. Thoughts on Ben Hicks through uh, three days? Yeah, you know, I, I've been very pleased with Ben. I think he's brought great energy into that quarterback room as well as to our football team. I think he did. He's done everything that uh, that that he's he's. He's supposed to do as a grad transfer coming in. You know, you just you come in and, and um, you put your head down. You don't say much, and you earn the respect uh, of your teammates by 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 working. And uh, what I've seen more about Ben is not just him uh, and his how he relates and the players relating to him, but but the quarterbacks as well. I mean, he's got a great rapport. I think that quarterback room's got a great rapport with each other. They respect him. They know he's played a lot of ball, and and man, I've been I've been very pleased with him. And for three days, he's um, and, and you know he's taken a lot of reps and ones and twos and threes. He's taken all the all those types. And it, you know, it doesn't matter. He's not taking all first team reps. He's taking some second, some third teams, and man, he is he's just uh, bringing a lot of energy uh, to that room and to the to the team. And um, and and what's impressive when you watch him coach. 
some of the other quarterbacks that are on the field as well. So again, seeing that, I think that's been a, uh, a, 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 a tremendous addition for our quarterback room. So what did you get out of Connor Nolan today? And also, can you any comment about Starkle uh, joining the team? Yeah, I, I, I can. I'm glad to uh, glad to have Connor out there today. Um, you know, we know that he's going to be sporadic through the course of spring. Um, you know, he was so he was out there today. Was not in shoulder pads, so he he has to go through his acclimatization period. Uh, so, but it was good to get him out there. He got some reps in again with with uh, the the install at the, at the pace that we're putting it in at. He, you know, there really wasn't a whole lot that he didn't know. Um, from meeting schedule, he hasn't made a lot of meetings, but uh, he'll bounce that back and forth. It's good to have him out there. Nick, uh, again, as I've ser- shared all along, um, you know, we're always in the quarterback market. It, it doesn't matter. We're always in that market. Um, and, uh, you know, you know if, if it's my job to make sure every room, not just the quarterback room, can continue to improve. And, uh, and so that's, that's, that's on me. And, uh, and to be able to, to make sure that we have competition in all areas uh, and our coaches understand that. And um, so, you know, rise and ties, tides rise all boats. And so I think what you're seeing is you'll see the competition level in, 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 all, in, in all rooms, and especially the quarterback room, adding Nick in there. Uh, will be a it will be a huge addition for us as well. So I'm excited about that and uh, excited about the competition that it brings and in that room. Chad, the uh, pace of install. What what do you expect to get going through the course of spring? And also, when can you live tackle next? Is it the next next practice? Yeah, we'll be able to live tackle on Thursday a little bit. We'll go what we call 50 uh, 50. So half the practice. I say half. There'll be there'll be quite a bit of practice there. Uh, I know more than half of it will be live, um, but uh, and then we'll be in the stadium on Saturday scrimmaging. Um, so in the pace of install, really, it's more by design right now. We've got to just go back to the fundamentals, and we've got to just make sure that that our guys understand why we do what we do. Um, I anticipate that to pick up a little bit over the next, you know, we'll pick up a little bit on Thursday. Uh, and maybe a little bit Monday, but then after that, we'll probably back down and just make sure we get these young guys and everybody on board and, and, and the fundamentals taught like we want them. You guys looked at Starkle when he was in high school. What, what can you say about what you know of him? What type of quarterback, leader, what have you he is? Yeah, well, I, I, like, like all quarterbacks, they're great competitors. Um, he's got a, uh, an extremely strong arm. That's, that's one of the things that really stands out. Uh, he's got good size, but he's got a strong arm. and. And obviously, we know he's played in this league, and um, you know, and, and and I think everybody that is, has been around him just talks about the quality of a person that he is. And so, again, as as, as you as you um, bring guys into your program, you want to bring the right fit into your program. And so, again, I think that that brings a great competition in that room. And again, it's we're trying to improve every room. Not having Scooter there, what's your linebacker depth look like, and do you have to move anybody around to kind of fit what you want to do this spring? Well, sprint? you know, moving guys around right now, uh, you know, we're, we're bumpers getting a lot of reps. Jill LaFrance is getting a lot of reps. Uh, Grant Morgan, uh, we don't have the depth that we need to have right now at the linebacker position, but uh, but what it does is it allows some of these other guys, uh, young guys that are that are coming in and and um, really putting a lot of reps on on. You know, Geo and Bumper and Grant, and so it's it's good to see. I mean, it to force these guys to have to to to, to you know grow up pretty quick with it. Any more questions? Was Noah Gavin practice today? I didn't see. Noah him. was not. He was sick today. He should be back Thursday. What have you seen from Trey Knox so far that you like, and how has he taken steps to progress, not just on the field, but also you know watching film stuff like that? Yeah, I, you know, I think like like a lot of the younger guys, they have all uh, came in with an attitude of of of, um, of of a great work ethic, I should say, and working hard. And you know, there's there's times and you know he's up here in the indoor. They're the, the young guys are in the indoor at nights and working on their own craft. And and so uh, I think that's good to see. Um, watching film, he's wanting to. Know, he's just he's hungry. He's and I think that's been great to to have. Um, you know, the quarterbacks being able to watch film with these guys and Ben to really to kind of step in and help coach the quarterbacks and even coach some of these young receivers. Um, so, you know, I, I, that's what you see off the field. He's very talented. 
a uh, hard worker. And I think when you see him on the field and you, you watch his how he competes, you obviously his size stands out. He's got he's got really good speed um, and and just good ball skills. I mean, high points the ball and um, you know he's long, so that that really that really uh, uh, is something we we tried to really address in the off season and. He definitely fits that need. He's going to be a really good football player. With Connor being back out there and, and baseball being a Saturday starter and stuff, is he limited on how much he can throw? Is there like a pitch count for him out there throwing the football? And also, is it going to be a disadvantage for him competing for the starting job? I guess he can't go scrimmage on Saturdays. It's usually a big part of competing for the job. Well, I mean, you say he's not competing. You know, he is competing. He's competing and, and you know, and. You know, being in this business for a long time and watching guys play, play two sports, you know, you encourage your guys. He's competing all right. He's he's down there and and um, he's battling his tail off. And so I love that. Um, now it's on him to to get caught up in the meeting rooms and doing his own film study of when when he's not there and he's not at practice and to to make sure that he stays on schedule with that. So you know, I don't I don't see that him not being here on a Saturday and competing. Um, is 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 a because you know, he is. I don't see that being a big concern. Um, as far as do we have him on a pitch count out here? No, we don't. And but also, I mean, you know, the way we do our practices. I mean, he's he's going to get his time, but he's we we never overthrow our guys. And he knows. I mean, we we've put a lot on Connor too to just tell us if he feels tired. He's been good. Saturday being a big scrimmage day, or how are you going to handle this first Saturday? Well, this Saturday, What's... a big, big scrimmage day. Absolutely, we want to. We we going. We're going to be um, obviously simple offensively and defensively, but we want to. We want to see these guys compete. We want to see uh, uh, guys tackling in space, how they respond, um, decision making. So yeah, it'll be a big scrimmage day. It's hard to tell exactly, but is Nick Fullwider maybe now inside, or, or is there any any position switches like that? No, not not right now. I mean, nothing nothing that's really just earth shattering at this point. Not three days in, you know. We'll we'll continue to evaluate. Saturday will be a big test. Um, there's we, we've had some talks on some guys here and there, but nothing nothing really out of the ordinary. Another guy, I don't know if I just missed him, but Dorian Gerald was he out there today? He was not. He uh, he should be back out there Thursday as well. He's got an infection, and we're trying to get that that taken care of. But he should be he should be back Thursday.